So this guy is found underneath a bridge. He uh, apparently uh, has a pneumothorax, and his temperature is obviously uh, quite low. He, uh, he has an external warming uh, blanket on him, a, uh, a bear hugger, okay, the Arctic sun. So he's got a chest tube in here. So we're gonna, uh, his temperature apparently is dropping a little bit more than, uh, than actually improving. So we're gonna actually do a, uh, we're gonna lavage him with warm fluids through his chest tube. And put it in there and then suck it back out. There's, we're gonna try the 18 gauge. You're gonna, you're gonna try the 18 gauge. Is it okay? All right, so it's already been cleansed. So we're just gonna put this in and then we're gonna secure Run your fluids it. in. We're gonna yep. secure it, there you go. And that way we think it won't leak. Yeah. And then if we have to, we can I, just in, in theory, I guess it. you would use two chest tubes, one in and one out. We're trying to avoid right. that. So we're, we're going to okay. go so, this way. So we're we actually going to clamp. No. So at this point, we're going to clamp, which you normally okay. would not do on a chest tube. Uh-huh. And then we're going to run for it. So, Rick, when, yeah. when you intubated this guy? Yeah. Okay. And does he have a central line in? He does no, not yet. Okay. He's got a 16, two 18s, and a 20. Here. Okay. And you've, 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 seen no, you've seen no cardiac irritability going on? We, I mean, he's been natural fib. His heart rate's been up and down. It's been... Did, did, he have Os, did he have... He did not have Osborne He did not have Osborne waves. <laughs> That's interesting. So, he's hypothermic, and he coded twice. What's your thoughts on using ECMO on him? Well, the young suggested it. <laughs> No, and, uh, good, good, because he, he, fit, he fits the criteria for it. Well, he correctly. does meet the criteria. His temperature is less than 32 degrees. He's hypotensive. He's, he was hypotensive. Uh, his calcium, I mean, his potassium is not out. Um, but his temperature started, actually was going the wrong direction, as opposed to, you know, going back up, probably because of after drop. Um, so he, he does meet criteria for ECMO. The one question uh, which, you know, CT surgery has you know, put their two cents in, they don't think he's a candidate, is, you know, would he need anticoagulation? Um, okay. Because to be on ECMO, you would need... And he's got a pelvic fracture. And he's got a pelvic fracture. He's got a retroperitoneal uh, hematoma. Oh, he does. So that takes okay. him out of that. What's your goal on how how much, how are you going to warm him up to? What Because the cardiac arrest, does he deserve some period of 24 hours of hypothermia? <laughs> Um, and, and apparently, you know, the literature apparently says that there, there is some question on that. Some people recommend if there was cardiac arrest and they're still altered. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, he, he, have a, you know, he had a cardiac arrest. He's not neurologically intact. Does he deserve some hypothermia? He's already hypo, you know, hypothermic. Yeah. You know, with the latest evidence that shows that really it may not be hypothermia that you need, but really, you know, preventing hyperthermia. Hyperthermia, you know, yeah. Being you yeah. Um, you know, you can get into 36 degrees, yeah. which is what the, the newest evidence for right. therapeutic hypothermia right. is. And then leave him there for 36, you know, 24 hours and then try to bring him back up. Yeah. You know, will defer to trauma they're going to have on the in the ICU? Yeah. But that's a good question. I mean, you know, we used to say you're not dead until you're warm and dead. But now if you're dead and we get you back, we have to cool you down. Yeah, yeah. So, Nancy, yes. how are we doing on this? So, you're... you're so the, the second liter is going in, and it's actually going on the level one under pressure. So it's going under pressure yes, now. Yes, okay. it pressurized. All right, so putting it under pressure, and then you're leaving the fluids in there for how long? Ten minutes. Okay. So it stays, once it's done, it's ten minutes after that clamped, and then I unclamp it. And we found that we mm. had to, um, usually the uh, water seal is at negative 20, and we had to put it at, at 25. Okay. All right, so just review for me all the warming things that you're doing. So what are, what, what are you giving him? I gave 50 mics of epi. Okay, so you're doing a pulse dose epi? You're doing a pulse dose epi? Okay, or push dose epi, whatever you want to call it. 50 mics. Chris, I'm hearing it again. Okay. Now, so how long have we been warming, guys? So almost an hour. Almost an hour. Okay. What's so he now he's on a leave fed drip. He's on a leave fed drip yeah. now. Okay. When's he going up to the unit? Yeah, right now. Okay. Is he up to 31? Mm hmm.